It kills me not to know this, but I've all but just forgotten what the color. Are you ready for this? And her scars are how she got them. Has the telling signs of age rain down. A single tear is dropping. Hello East Richland and thank you for tuning in to your November 8th episode of WTGR. I'm Ryan and I'll be your anchor. Let's head out to Eric with the news. Yeah. Attention freshmen, if you plan to go to lunch at the St. Paul lunch stand on Wednesday, please sign up in the office by Tuesday afternoon. YAC will meet Wednesday at the St. Paul lunch stand. Freshmen need to sign up in the office for that. And in birthdays today, we'd like to wish Jacob, Thomas, and Ashlyn Wyatt a happy birthday. The JROTC store is accepting donations of non-perishable food items to assist a local food bank. And you get a 50 cent coupon when you turn in an item. Limit one coupon per day. This event ends the 23rd and the coupons expire the 22nd. For lunch today, we'll have soft shelled taco, lettuce and cheese cup, corn, salsa and chips, and fruit or dessert. Back to you, Ryan. Thanks, Eric. Now let's go out to Chris with the sports. Today we have no local sports, but the NBA lockout has reached day 131. And this weekend for football, we have the Jaguars at the Colts, the Rams at the Browns, the Lions at the Bears, we have the Patriots at the Jets, and then the Monday night game, we have the Vikings versus Green Bay. Back to you, Ryan. Thanks, Chris. Now let's go out to our special on the most anticipated game of the year. At 6.22, attacks were triggered across Europe. Targets were key military and intelligence organizations. The symbols you have always looked to for strength are smoldering in Rome. This is what your greed has brought you. Hunting Makarov is like hunting a shadow. We need a shadow of our own. The life you knew before is gone. Today, we fight to bring it back. Rated M for Mature. I'm looking forward to the Modern Warfare 3 because it continues the exciting storyline of Modern Warfare 1 as well as Modern Warfare 2. Also, the new multiplayer format they're introducing looks very entertaining as well. They're bringing back theater mode, which is the one feature from Call of Duty Black Ops that is halfway decent. I am looking forward to Modern Warfare 3 very much. I am looking forward to the epic multiplayer that appears to be very good and the storyline that's going to come with the campaign which is following MW2. I am not looking forward to um, Modern Warfare 3 because I got Battlefield 3 and I think it's a lot better than Modern Warfare 3. I'm looking forward to the intense graphics and the multiplayer mode. That was epic. I can't wait to go get my copy. Now let's go out to the library for this day in history. On this day in history in 1519 the first meeting of Montezuma and Fernando Cortez took place in Mexico. And in 1731 in Philadelphia, Benjamin Franklin opened the first U.S. library. And in 1864, Abraham Lincoln is re-elected to his second term as president. In 1968, Cynthia Lennon is granted a divorce from John. And last year, the U.S. talk show host Conan O'Brien returns to television on TBS after a 10-month absence. Back to you, Ryan. Well, that's all for today's episode of WTGR, and remember... Boom goes the dynamite!